Hey guys, this is Matt Croissant over at Kia of Columbia here in Missouri, getting you some information on the 2022 Kia Carnival EX in Astra Blue with the saddle brown interior. So um, this is a pretty cool combination. We don't get very many carnivals in, maybe one for every uh, seven or eight Tellurides that we get per month. So. Um, happy to get you guys the information on these and this is a cool color combo so um, let's go ahead and dig on into it up front here we've got some halogen headlights with this nice LED daytime running light front parking sensors included up here as well then moving along the side we get a nice 19 inch set of wheels here with a two-tone finish Turn indicators on the mirrors that are color matched. You get a nice blacked out A pillar right there. You get keyless entry on the front two doors, so that'll lock and unlock. And then the back two doors, you can actually just press that little button right there to open or close the door instead of having to pull the whole handle, just in case. A little bit of a convenience factor. So, uh, moving along here, we've got this nice band of chrome that wraps around the rear of the vehicle here we're going to get our power lift gate on this model as well and you're going to have rear parking sensors on here along with a backup camera and we've got a nice tail light back here super sharp look for a minivan or multi-purpose vehicle is what kia is calling this so tons more space in the rear uh, if a Telluride or Sorento isn't big enough for you, uh, front wheel drive only, but man, what a family car, especially with the sliding doors and the automatic gate that you don't even have to touch. But uh, moving along here, we've got uh, privacy glass on the rear windows here. And then wrapping around the vehicle also comes with remote start on the key fob, of course. Let me go ahead and dig that out of my pocket right here. So here you go. Get your power doors, remote start, and your lift gate option right there. Let's go ahead and hop on in and see what the interior of this vehicle has to offer. Got a nice large piece of glass in the A pill and our blind spot monitors. On the interior here, we've got power locks, windows, and mirrors. All four windows are automatic, and that is going to roll a pretty decent way down. You see, you've got some nice visibility here. Quick, nice photo, congratulations, hey kids. All right, so uh, beyond that, we've got some nice bottle holders in the doors here. A 10-way adjustable driver's seat. We've got honeycomb perforated leather here that's two-tone with the saddle here, and a really nice dark wood grain going across the front of the dash here on that lip. Let's go ahead and hop in here. So on the left hand side, we've got our dash illumination. This is lane keep assistance. We can turn that on here, traction control. All of our power door features are located right here for the driver to conveniently open and close. And then right here, I'm gonna move this vent down just a little bit. We're gonna put this on auto as well real quick. Turn that up to 75. Notice how the uh, air sound goes away. Oh, too high, okay. Sounds good, but anyways. So, we've got a leather wrapped steering wheel right here. This is not heated on this model, but you do get heated seats. So, don't worry about that. Um, you can unlock it from here. You can tilt and telescope and lock it back into place. Then the vehicle's got your automatic headlights right here, okay? It comes with automatic high beams, so, we can just flick that forward and it's going to automatically turn those on and off for you. And then on the right hand wand, that's going to be your front and rear wipers along with their respective sprayers. On the steering wheel itself, we've got entertainment over here and then driving and information tools to the right. So over here, this has voice recognition. When you press this mode button, you can actually choose which audio sources you cycle through here. You've got volume control, tracks and presets, this phone call button, and this star button here, which takes you to another custom feature, which allows you to pick a particular application, like passenger view. We're gonna show this off real quick. So, say I go home, but I 
I'm driving and I wanna see the kids while I'm talking to them. And I can turn on the passenger view right here. Then I can also turn on the passenger talk feature. Um, and maybe I have the passenger talk set up right here possibly so it just turns it on automatically so boom bam yo so pretty cool right we can hit end right there and let's take our focus back here um so we've got that and then on the right hand side is your driving and information tools so uh here this is all cruise control on this column so you can just Boom, hit that, that'll turn your cruise on and set your speed. Then you can accelerate or decelerate, pause or resume, choose four different following distances as well, which is pretty cool. And then this button right here is your lane follow assist, which comes on right next to the lane keep symbol, which will keep you automatically centered in your lane. So um, less steering effort needing to be made over long distances, which is nice. Um, also, just on more narrow roads, this will keep you and your family safe, keep the vehicle safe, keep you centered. Um, this page button with the lever that's pressable will control your drive display. The first screen will be a safety and convenience screen showing your lane keep assistance. And if the cruise were active, this carnival would back up a little bit and show you when the vehicles in front of you are also registered with those lines on the road. If we move down, this is your driver attention system, paying attention to how you're driving, and it will recommend if you pull over or take a break if it thinks you're not doing a very great job, and you might be putting you and your family in danger based on how you're driving. You've got your uh, fuel economy or driving info right here, so this will show you active economy. Drive info is based off of the last vehicle start or refuel. Uh, or here is one for since refueling, and then the accumulation one is for uh, oil changes. You've got a digital speedo here too. And you can also see your current direction or your turn by turn information with the navigation. And the information screen will show you onboard tire pressure. Now what else can we see on here? Drive selection, fuel range, temperature, our auto hold, which has stayed on as well. Love that feature. What auto hold is, is I can actually put this vehicle in drive and you see how that text is green now? I can take my foot off the brake and relax in the car lane, drive through, stoplight, wherever until traffic is ready to roll again. All right, there we go. Okay, so that completes that for the drive display. Let's go ahead and take a look up since we've covered everything right here. We've got our interior lighting, got some nice little halogen lights right here. Um, you can turn everything on with this button. It's your dome lights, okay? You got your door light here, your UVO services. You get UVO with this vehicle, which lets you remote start this carnival from your phone. You can set the temperature, check the location, make sure the doors are locked, all kinds of cool stuff, okay? Standard rear view mirror, and you get that for a year for free, by the way. Down below, get this huge, huge drive display. It's gigantic. Larger than the 10.25 inch screens you get in any other Kia, so congrats. Um, here's your home screen showing time, temperature, media, as well as your map. Now, if we swipe over here, we've got the map, navigation, phone, phone projection is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. We've experienced passenger talk and passenger view. You also have quiet mode, which will move the volume to your front speakers and turn it down to seven. You've also got rear climate on screen here, so we can put this on auto get it synced up to the 73 that I have the rest of the cabin at. Now I recommend you use auto in your vehicle as much as possible because um, this does, you know, advanced recirculation, dehumidification, defogging, defrosting, I mean, everything, you know? Let it take care of you. This is such an awesome family vehicle. All right, and you've also got your HD radio data, which is traffic, weather, and travel info. Has nothing to do with high definition. That's their own disclaimer. Let's go into the settings, though. I wanna play with some things and get some things set up for some other demonstrations. Let's go into our vehicle, and we're gonna skip down to our door. And we want smart sliding door 
The sliding door opens automatically when approaching it with the key. We've also got smart lift gate and lift gate auto close. I'm gonna turn all of those features on real quick. We're gonna check our conveniences real quick. We've got our welcome light on, which turns on all the exterior lighting when you walk up to it. I think that's pretty awesome. Let's see, driver assistance, cluster, welcome sound. That's where it is. We're gonna turn the vehicle off and see that. You can also change the theme up on here uh, slightly, but that's what I wanted to change real quick. Let's go ahead and get out of here. But this is a great entertainment system along with those family features. Um, down below, we've got some nice large vents here for ventilation, our start button, uh, touch sensitive control centrally located for the entertainment system, and our tri auto blower, tri climate system. So, right now, this is on 73 degrees auto high. Now, say this were, I wanted it just cold in here. I like it cold, but. now going to get to the temperature I want but also have the fans as low as possible and it's freezing cold right now so you can set this to the temperature that you want to and if it's not there but you don't mind and you just want it to be a nice temperature set it to low um, if you are you know coming back from the gym or it's really cold outside and you're trying to heat up and you want to get blasted you want that airflow you can put it on high set it to the temperature that you want it's like your home thermostat but even more advanced so it's really nice um, down below here is your charging center we've got three usb ports uh, two are for charging one is for data this will also charge two of course you've got your wireless charging pad slot here some extra storage um, and I like the Carnival. It has tons of cup holders with phone holders right here. So phone holder combo here, another combo right here. I'll show you some more as we go throughout. Here's our shifter, putting the vehicle in reverse. We've got our parking sensors right here, our big backup camera right here. We can also change the viewing angle as you can install a hitch on this vehicle. So you get a nice center line with the true sides of your vehicle being represented right there. So pretty nice, nice large view right there. You can turn your sensors on and off at any time. You can also turn the camera on and off at any time. Press this camera button here and you can bring your camera system on without actually having to be in a certain gear selection. Got your heated seats down here up front auto hold right here which is used in tandem with your electric parking brake got your different drive modes you can press this and switch between normal eco sport and smart smart is going to change through the ladder for you okay based on your driving habits okay um, so i use smart mode on all of my kias it's pretty nice so you see how that turned green it's going to keep the carnival in eco mode until you get on the pedal some more until you actually need uh, more performance so very smart there um, other than that that takes care of that a nice large glove box here center console also nice and large more storage here and let's not forget our visors these are mirrored they have an independent light here a nice little clip and this telescopes too so um, that's it for the front area. We're gonna go ahead and turn this off and we're gonna do a demo of a few things if we can get it to cooperate. So, I thought we turned on our welcome sound. Hmm, see that's what I'm talking about folks. All right, let's go ahead and just make sure real quick. I would hate for us to, okay. Maybe it's just when we're getting in. Maybe it's too smart for me. Okay, it saved it all. Trust. Trust. Or right, we're going to hop out here. Maybe it is just a welcome sound. Usually it's a um, in and out kind of sound. But we're going to hop on out of here and just admire for a little bit. We're going to lock this up. And we want to show off the second row, right? So we're just going to walk away. And I've got... Uh, I've got this cool, this cool set of keys right here. And we got this cool car right here, right? We're just gonna walk up to it, 
we got our hands full, you know, but we want to get in the vehicle, you know, so if I stand right here, see that flashing? It'll open automatically. Let your people in and then lock them in there. Bam, you just need to reclose that. And then what we're gonna do real quick is we're going to lock this or unlock it and lock it and just kind of trick the proximity again as we're going through here. I'm gonna knock both of these out real quick just so we can get the smart stuff out of the way since it does take a little bit of time to kind of show this off. But anyways, we're walking. We're, we just got back from the grocery store and uh, I need this hatch open, but I got kids. So same thing, flashing. And check it out. The lift gate's gonna automatically open and we can put our groceries in here and let's listen. That chime is letting you know that the carnival knows you are still here underneath it with the key. But if we were to walk away, two, three, four. It's gonna close on its own too. All right, so smart sliding door, smart lift gate with auto close. Let's go ahead and continue with the rest of the demo. Opening this right here, LXS and above. It's gonna get you the center seat right here so you can seat eight people comfortably in this vehicle. Um, you can see we've got some nice tracks here, dual cargo net and bag. Again, cup holder, phone holder combo, USB ports back here. We've also got a grocery bag holder here. Sunshades on the second row doors here. Rear climate controls, the rear camera with a voice system right here. You've got your ultrasonic rear part or ultrasonic rear occupant sensors located here and here. There's tiny little guys right there shooting out sonar to make sure you haven't left anybody or anything important behind. What do we also have here? A nice convenient button to open and close the door from here as well. There's many ways to open and close the doors. You also have handles here. You've got window controls too, as well as bottle holders in the doors there and some extra storage down here too. So that's it for the second row. We've got ventilation, of course, handles, hooks, speakers, armrests. Now, how do we get to the second row? Uh, we can just pull this handle right here. It's gonna slide that forward for you. Now, this seat can also be fully removed if you want to. Some people have even found ways to flip it around and put it back in. Now, you notice how I pushed down here first, and now I'm pushing this up. You want to move the seat back down there where you want it to, and then push up here to lock it in. Now, this is a great center seat. Um, this is where you want to put your young ones because passenger right here can actually reach down, grab this bar, and slide that forward. It's really not that easy from that position, let me tell you. But anyways, if you had some more leverage right there with a whole back right there to support you, you can slide this all the way up, tend to the young one. Or maybe we don't need a seat here at all. We pull this right here and that is spring loaded, that's solid. Um, folds down into a table. So now we've got a uh, entertainment playing eating surface with another dual phone cup holder combo. This can be fully removed or if um, we want to let people in the back use it. There's so many different seating combinations. I can't even show them all in this video. You can pull this right here and move this all the way back too. And in theory, if you say did have these two seats flipped around, you can see you've actually got a cool little game table right here. So, I mean, and maybe you don't have to be driving to do that. Maybe you just, uh oh, did my gimbal just die? It did. All right, we're going manual, folks. All right. I'm so disappointed with this thing. DJI, give me my money back. All right. So anyways, you can see we've got a lot of utility right here, or you can just take that out completely. Now let's check out the third row again. We do have 
more USB ports here, more storage, and sunshades on the third row, along with some speakers back here and a nice raised roof around the head. We've got center seatbelt right there, which will go down there. And we are going to show you the third row. Let's go ahead and move this back. See how that locked in immediately? No room, but that's okay. We're gonna move this forward just a tad and that's gonna do what we need to do. We're gonna press this button here. And the actual lift gate button is just right here, just in case. You can change the speed of this. There's a concealed rear wiper that we actually didn't see as well. And if we wanna turn this off, we're going to just press that right there. So that way we're not hearing that beep while I'm trying to finish up this demo with you guys. Storage here, storage there. There's actually a vacuum piece that goes right here and there's a false floor uh, right there for even more uh, storage. Uh, more storage right here as well, 12 volt outlet. We've got a set of carpeted mats back here and uh, some instructions for the stow and go. So I'm gonna do you guys a solid here, get some of this moved. This is actually a cool accessory that we have been including with all of our carnivals. It is a three compartment collapsible storage container. So it's really cool. You guys are gonna enjoy that. Uh, this vehicle is actually already spoken for for my client Mike down in Texas. So congrats, Mike. That's a really cool accessory that you're gonna be getting. Just so you know, I think it's really neat. More floor mats. We got three rows of floor mats as well as a rear cargo mat when this lays down flat, I would assume in that first one. So you can see tons of storage space down here. You got the stroller, all kinds of other crap. <laughs> And you've got your grocery bag holders right here to keep smaller things from rolling around. Now, do we need to go full cargo? Let's do it. So we're going to just pull this right here. Just kind of press down. It's nice and easy to do. Really not taking a lot of effort or muscle on my part. The springs do it all for you. Now, you can see we've got a lot of open pieces right here. Um, that is what this cargo mat is for right here. That will lay out right over here. And there are a few different aftermarket options as well. So with the floor mat system in place, a lot of this disappears and it's not so uh, parent scary as I've seen in comments sometimes. So um, to lift this back up, it's nice and easy. I'm just gonna pull this up right here, spring loaded. Again, I'm not doing a lot of the work. So uh, moms, little ladies, uh, little dudes, it's not gonna take a lot of effort for that to get installed back into place. And especially if you're one-handed too, for convenience. Pull this back, just let go of it. It'll lock into place for you. And then your rear passengers can adjust the actual angle on their own once they're back there. Move the headrests around, move the table, which they can also move from back there too. Um, awesome, awesome vehicle, guys. I hope you really enjoy this. I know my man Mike has been waiting for his. He is still waiting on the shipping as well. I'm gonna get that back in there. But uh, yeah, yeah, so rear cargo mat right there. That's a nice one. We include it. This one didn't come with it, so. All right, get that closed up. Last thing, guys, thank you for all your time on this video, even with the dead gimbal. Um, we're gonna check out passenger seat adjustment real quick. It's gonna be four-way adjustable in the EX with some extra storage on the side. All right, guys, that is it. Thank you for all your time on this Carnival 2022 EX in Astro Blue with saddle, brown interior. Guys, please like and share this video with your friends and family. Uh, leave a comment if you have any compliments, questions, corrections, or if you'd just like to give my man Mike a big shout out and congratulate him and his family on the purchase of their new vehicle. We do work with people nationally on these, these carnivals, rentos, tellurides, you name it, and we sell them for MSRP. So if you'd like your own help with one, we will help you with one for MSRP typically plus 749 if we are able to include the all-weather mats. This one doesn't have all-weather mats, so just 349 for 
the carnival, which is our administration fee. We make it nice and easy. I can send you a little info page on the you know entirety of the process. And if you like what you hear, I'd love to help you out. So thanks again, guys. This is Matt Croissant over at Key of Columbia. Make sure you subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the vehicles I'm uploading. And I hope you're having an awesome day.